Hello and welcome. This is Rafi from Doric. In this video, we are going to learn how symbol works on Doric, how we can save any element of our website as a symbol for future reuse purpose, so that whenever we'll save any section, column, button, or any part of our website as a symbol, we'll be able to reuse that symbol on multiple places or multiple pages with exact same settings, which is going to save us a whole lot of time and it is going to make our web design process much faster and efficient. So at the very beginning, let's take this header or the nav menu as an example. Let's say you got a website with multiple pages. It could be eight pages, 10 pages, or more than that. If you have to place this nav bar on every pages manually, it is going to take you a long time. But by using the symbol feature of Doric, we'll be able to save a whole lot of time and we'll be able to make the process much efficient. So let me show you in real example. So first of all, I'd love to save this section as a symbol and let's give it a name to nav bar and let's click on save. The nav bar section is saved as a symbol. Now we'll be able to reuse this on other pages easily. So let me create a new page. Let's click on add new page. I'm going to give this page name about, let's click on save. And here we go. We have got our about page created. Now if I click on add new section button right here, after that, if I click on section symbols, we are going to find the section that we saved as a symbol. Now if I click on it, just take a look. We have got the nav bar added on our about page quite faster, right? Now, if we make any change here on this symbol, it is going to work globally. So if I add an option, if I remove anything, or if I make any design change, it is going to take effect on every places where we are going to use this symbol. Now, let's say I want to add an option as about, so we are going to click on this edit element. After that, I'm going to links, Let's add a new link with the name of about. Just take a look. The change we have made on our about page. Now, if I take you to the home page, you are going to notice the about is added on our home page as well. So it is working globally, which is saving us a whole lot of time. So we don't have to go manually on every pages to make necessary changes. Now, let's save this button as a symbol. And we are going to use this on some other places. So let me type out button here and let's click on save. Now this element is saved as a symbol. Now let's go back to our about page. I'm going to add a new section here. Let's add a block from here. Let's say call to action. And after that, I'm going to take this block and just take a look, we have got this added here. So as you have saved the button from our home page, which has a different styling, if I take you here on the home page, we have got a different style, but on the about page button, it got a different style. Now what you can do, we can simply click on this plus icon right here. After that, we can go to this element symbols and we are going to find our button symbol here. So now if I click on it, it is going to give us the button with the exact styles of our home page button, right? It is going to matching our style. Now I'm going to delete this one. Now, if I make any change on this button or from the home page, it is going to take effect on every places where we are going to use this symbol, right? So let's say I'm going to change the text a little bit. Uh, let's add get started for free and let's cross this out. We are on the about page. Now, if I take you to the home page, you are going to notice we have got the text changed on the home page as well. So it is working globally. Now, if we give it the alignment of center on the home page, it is going to work exact the same way in our about page. Just take a look. It is on the center alignment, right? Now we can add our footer section easier as well by following this same exact process. So what do we have to do? We have to go to the home page and let's save our footer section as a symbol. Let's save it as a symbol of the name footer. Let's click on save. Now, if I go back to our about page and now I'm going to add a section right here. So let's click on add new section 
and as we have added our footer section as a section symbol we are going to find this under the section symbols option let's click on footer and you are going to notice we have got the footer added so this is how we'll be able to add an element a section column button or whatever it is by saving it as a symbol on multiple pages which is going to make our web design process much efficient so i believe you have got a clear overview of the usage of symbol using doric and still if you have got any question please feel free to ask by commenting below and you can reach us at doric.com thank you so much for watching have a good day bye bye